A 75 year old lady on evaluation for non specific symptoms was found to have a mass on the anterior tricuspid leaflet, roughly around、uh, or less than 1.5 centimeters, moving with the anterior tricuspid leaflet, not causing any symptoms. There is no TR, no tricuspid stenosis. Patient had no fever or、um, any symptoms for that matter. The patient had mild to moderate aortic regurgitation with borderline left ventricular ejection fraction. But the vegetation or so called moss on the anterior tricuspid leaflet was a bit suspicious as both the right atrium and left atrium and the interatrial septum were normal. Both the appendages were normal. The mitral valve opened very well. And、there was no evidence of rheumatic heart disease given the age of the patient to be 75 years. There was no suspicious mass lesions arising from either ventricular cavities. The right ventricular outflow tract was normal. The pulmonary valve was normal. The aortic valve was trially flat except for that mild to moderate central leak. There was nothing significant there. But this mass, which is less than 1.5 centimeters, Moved with the ATL, the STL was normal, no TR, no pulmonary regurgitation, normal interventricular septum, and in normal sinus rhythm. So we had to have multiple differential diagnoses apart from myxoma, which is very common to arise from the interatrial septum, can arise from any aspect of the atria, but both the atrias were normal. Then we had to think about the vegetation. Blood culture was negative in this patient, and、uh, the mitral valve was normal. So it is quite rare under Indian scenarios to have a right-sided endocarditis,、uh, which is very commonly seen in IV drug addicts. It can arise in immunosuppressed patient or in inadvertent use of、uh, central line or catheter-based blood-related infections. In view of lack of symptoms, we also thought of、uh, Lippmann-Sachs vegetations, but. It more commonly involves the aortic or mitral valve, and very commonly seen in autoimmune、uh, situations like the SLE. Tricuspid valve is rarely involved here. And for completion's sake, I have added lambal secretions. Nothing but an extension of the aortic leaflet. It can embolize and may lead to elastoma. Thrombi was eliminated because both the atria was normal, the appendages were normal. So, because this is seen on the anterior tricuspid leaflet, so we decided to go with conservative management in terms of anticoagulation. Had it been on the left side, surgery would have been indicated. Thanks for watching.